Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's the last day of this decade. So I have a guest today, uh, my uh, wonderful friend, colleague, board member. I'd like to introduce you today to Arik Gevorkian. Pleasure. Yes. <laughs> So today, it's going to be something special. We're going to be talking about so much. We're going to be talking about, hi, Andy, how are you? We're going to be talking about prosperity, health, wellness, uh, healing, uh, adults, children, everything, everything. So it's like uh, setting intentions, goal setting. I actually like to talk about in setting intentions versus setting a resolution. Mm -hmm. because uh, I like to say when we set an intention, it's with full intention and it comes from our gut. We sit, we want to know what is it that we want in life mm -hmm. instead of a resolution, which is from thought consciousness, Interesting. right? Good. Is that, is that think, different? That's very different. <laughs> that's very different. So I, what is your intention for 2020 since we are entering a whole new decade, right? And in the Chinese New Year starts January 25 until uh, February 11 when they celebrate it. It's the year of the rat. It's my year. Is that? <laughs> it is my year. So I said, watch out, everyone. The fire is going to be coming. So... What are your plans for tonight? Do you celebrate New Year's Eve or do you like to stay home and watch the ball drop? What do you do? We stay home okay. with a bunch of friends okay. uh, and uh, we celebrate. Uh, and I believe I'm going to change it this year. I'm going to go with an intention. Very <laughs> You're right. Because resolutions you might not get. Keep, right? Keep, uh, you know, depending on, uh, Keep on what, going, right. what life's life life throws at you but intentions is something you can control mm. and i think whatever life throws at us this is what i do at heal within um what we do with what is given to us is more valid and important than what is being thrown at us mm -hmm. right and instead of being thrown at us what if we change it and say it is brought to us? Mm -hmm. Is looking at the glass half full instead of half, half empty. Yeah. And I like to say the glass is always full as long as we fill it. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Right? Um, so many people go through this holiday blues mm -hmm. and feel down, especially those who do not have their loved ones in their life. Mm -hmm. I know uh, you've lost a parent when you were a child. Yes, I was. Teenage years, right? I was 12. 12 years old. Okay. And one of my friends has lost his uncle and his father just this year. Um, my uncle is in the hospital. My aunt fell. So there was a lot of this closure mm -hmm. coming to pushing it to the last day and i think once this cycle comes we come through this chrysalis mm -hmm. and we are pushed out and it's just like it's a new year the ball dropped the glass broke and now it's time to celebrate and renew so Hello, Seda John. How are you? I hope you are celebrating New Year somewhere with your loved ones and family, your son and daughter-in-law and grandchildren. Today is going to be something special because I thought so many of you have heard me speak about uh, Heal Within International, which is the nonprofit that I formed two years ago. And Arik is my vice president and one of our esteemed board members. And we have incredible board members. Yes, we do. So let me just shed a light on what 
Heal Within International is all about. Heal Within International started long time ago when I was a child and I learned about my grandmother's story. And when she would repeat about her life, where she came from the Armenian genocide, but the time that they were uh, walking them, this, the walk uh, from the orphanage to take them to the orphanage, and then they transported them to Beirut. It was during this walk that grandma had lost all her family and she was holding on her mom's hand and the soldiers and everything, the Turks, they dragged her away and her mom fell and they stomped over her and she could not walk anymore. So grandma, they literally dragged her over her mother's body and left her. So she became motherless at that age, which was at the age of five. And we know there are so many, but that was the seed. And throughout my life, working as a hypnotherapist and stress management, and especially as a domestic abuse consultant, I have helped so many clients that are adults. Mm -hmm. But it was like, they packed on a lot of emotions without realizing that there's still a hurt of um, a despair or a guilt feeling or a hurt of pain of losing their mom mm -hmm. that especially that one child that literally started was the seed of heal with an international uh her father brought the 14 year old daughter to me for cutting and self-esteem and she had gained a lot of weight uh, and what stemmed was that her mother had passed on the freeway because she had been calling her mom, uh, come and get me at a not overstay. And her mom came to pick her up on the way, got into an accident and passed. Um, I don't like to say the past because it's literally she died by, at the hospital. So this girl her guilt that if it she had not called um uh, this would not have happened so that lingered two years and many many therapies but what came out was that she held on to that in the subconscious mind and that is the work that i do through hypnotherapy it was the subconscious mind that held on to that pain that once she released it and she realized I asked her, let's unload the burden because if mom was here, what would she want? Hmm. So that helped her release her guilt hmm. and she dropped the weight and everything. So that's why we started to give with an international. And you have worked with many, many children. Mm -hmm. I still do. You still do. That's right. Uh, you work with them with through music. Through music. Music and uh, music anthropology. Okay. Share with us how music helps children to lift their spirit. Uh, before I share that, the the, the work, the reason I joined yes. HWI, the day I remember when you called, it's that you know I still don't have time. But because I'm involved with uh, so a handful of other nonprofit organizations, but it was the only organization that truly uh, excited me that there is an or there there is a there's a board there's an organization that will be able to help motherless children. Right. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, I did lose my father at an early age. Uh, I was uh, lucky enough that my grandfather and my mom uh, raised two boys, but especially when you lose a mother, it's this is the closest thing. It's because because of her you're 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 in this world. Okay. So that's why I and the other board members that all of them are 
you know, involved in other organizations, professional board members, powerful board members. So, uh, and another thing that was exciting for me is that the decisions that were made together and the programs available to to these children, that we want to be able to reach out to the families, the organizations, the institutions, the caretakers, the guardians, to say there is. Uh, there are a bunch of people, professionals, that are willing to help this child between the ages of eight, eight to, to 17. 17. Yes. Uh, and uh, one of, you mentioned I work with kids. I teach in four different schools. And I, uh, it's through music that I, I've, uh, first of all, I'm blessed to have them in my life, in my life. But it's through music that this, uh, these children, uh, they're not motherless. Or right. some of them might, might be, be, might be, but they express themselves, especially kids that are challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, they they find music, whether it would be a piano or a drum uh, or a, 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 a bell or a guitar, to be able to express uh, their regret or their anger or just their feelings. their feelings about about life. Right. Uh, especially in this day and age that uh, less and less kids are go through touch and feel and uh, everything you know is digital as with some parents you know it's uh, uh, it's challenging for their kids because you know remember the days we used to play on the streets in the streets yes yes uh, from 9 a.m to 9 p.m uh, 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 I would reprimand that uh, why are you so late? You're on the street, and now these days we encourage the kids to go to the street to play, but with reservations because right. uh, you know it's 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 challenging. Well, well play kids. has become digital, yeah. and everything. It, I think music speaks from the heart. It touches the heart. It gives us goosebumps when we hear a good concerto or a great music, even the salsa, or it, it doesn't matter, whatever, even the yes. lyrics is what touches our heart. A Gregorian chant. A Gregorian chant, which I play in our office a lot. Yet at Hill Within International, we're not doing uh, traditional music. What we are doing is sound healing. Everything that we do at Heal With It International is expressive art, which is by creative writing, creative art. And as they are doing this, we are asking them to express how they feel. The colors they choose speaks volumes because I'm trained in color therapy and the coordination of the chakras and each sound healing, the bowls that we have. I will show you the bowls as well. Each one resonates with a chakra. So if there is a block in their core, mm -hmm. if we do the sound healing, which is the yellow, which is the third chakra, it can open that chakra for the child to begin to either cry, express, talk, and share what is stuck in here. Uh, we also do uh, creative writing, art therapy, sound healing. We're doing poetry. It's coming, right? We also uh, specialize in body image and self-esteem. So those are the ways we do the healing work at Heal Within International for our children. And it's an after-school program. So it's not an all-day yet. <laughs> We're just planting the seeds and we've got, it's just amazing when they come here and they see it, it just brightens their just smile of seeing the sound healing bowls. When they sit on those beautiful Tibetan uh, yoga mats in itself, it's just different than sitting in and class. Also, it's a non-threatening environment. Right. And the thing is that uh, I want uh, your audience at the end of 2019, our audience. Our audience, 2019 <laughs> to remember that uh, you know uh, some people might might be expect you know uh, hesitant, right? But uh, it's great they can come to the center, of course, just have a tour, look at it, and if there's a child out there 
uh, I believe that the team, uh, I'm not part of the team, I'm part of the board, but the team of our selfless people will be able, and professionals will be able to help these kids, help yes. these children. We do have powerful, uh, experienced therapists that each one uh, has many years in working with children, working, doing therapy work with the art, with the sound healing, with the self image and everything. Plus, not every child, and when we talk about motherless, mm -hmm. does not mean that mom has, passed, has away. passed away. Mom can be in another state and the child uh, does not have mom um, with them at all times. Mom can be divorced, lost uh, custody rights, uh, institutionalized, incarcerated. Uh, or just be, uh, just be absent in their absent daily life. in their daily life. Could be they're working all the time. All the could time. be they're socializing all the time. Could be they're involved in so many other things that the kid resents not having a mother uh, you know, at home. Right. Uh, to be able, because you know, father, I'm a father, it's different than it's a, a mother. Mm -hmm. So any, any, any. The kid, nurturer. Uh, it's where it starts. Mom is everything. All right. I'm a dad, I'm telling you, but mom is everything. But uh, that's why these kids, uh, they, they, they need help. Uh, and uh, our team of professionals will be able to truly help help them. And just come to the come to the center. Have it, Lisa or one of us will give you a tour uh, to see exactly what we do. Yes, thank you. Actually, thank you, Armine John. You just joined. Armine is one of our uh, esteemed board members. Armine Carpetian. She herself is a doctor, a a leader within our community. We have powerful and heart-centered board members um, from real estate, from uh, law, enforcement. law enforcement. We have a, a psychologist, a behavioral psychologist Legal with us. Attorney. Uh, we have an attorney. We have uh, a mayor. <laughs> <laughs> mayor of a city so we have someone who's had 30 years Camille has 30 years of experience in nonprofit so our vast board member from accountancy not because of their titles none of them joined because they wanted their this is for their bio mm -hmm. but they want they want to give back they want to help and each one has a heart for the children not only giving back it's giving back through an organization that helps and i always emphasize this the reason i joined you know i'm involved in so many yes. organizations it's because we might be a voice for these kids that the, the, the mother is not in their lives exactly so why did we pick from eight to 17? It was uh, a very, um, we talked about that, but I think from one to seven, the child is still developing. And from eight years old, they can make more sound judgments and have an understanding. Add up to 17 because after 18 they're adults mm -hmm. and 17 they're still very vulnerable I think well everyone at any age when we lose our mom we are vulnerable no one wants to have that kind of a loss or an absence of their mother but when we are children we don't necessarily know how to express it so it comes off by self punishment self uh hurt uh they can become uh very outgoing uh tantrums anger and people would think that it's behavioral and not realizing that it's not so much behavioral but it is an internal uh, uh what do i want to say loss it's just 
feeling of lack. Part of it also in different cultures. Of course. People embrace a loss differently. But it comes to a point that you really have to think that what is the best for that child? If exactly. I'm the uncle, if I'm the aunt, if I'm the grandmother, uh, grandparents, friend of a family, uh, you know, uh, traditionally, there are cultures that say, we'll take care of it. Of course we all of do. We this all. is not saying that we are here and you're not there. We're saying here is an incredible program, after school program, that is going to nurture. And complement. And complement. Being an augmentation to family members. We also have family members who come here and they get to sit and talk to each other. Mm -hmm. Plus, Coming 2020, we're also going to have a program for the fathers, uh, group therapy for the fathers. So this is, in a way, it's a therapy. It is a networking. It is a community that we bring all of them together and they get gifts and they, it's just wonderful. Not, the, not to dismiss the feelings, but I mean, sometimes we go to dormitories. We children are sent to dormitories, mm -hmm. and they feel missing their parents. So that in itself is mm -hmm. one. Um, we have latchkey children, mm -hmm. right? So with that, if you know of anyone that we can be of assistance, that we can help them, by all means, please contact us at Heal Within International. And I know Adrian said, talk about chakras and everything. If you go to our website, to healwithininternational.org, you can go to the program section, check out the programs. Yes, there is a small fee that we charge for the programs, but it's so minimal. And when you go and check out the programs one of the things is there is a video of the sound bowl healing that i also explain about the bowls and the chakras and everything you get to see all of that plus from the time that we launched we have made impacts we've had children here we've done art therapy and it's just been beautiful actually january 4th we're doing uh, another a uh, session for children and if you have a child does not necessarily need to be motherless but if you want to explore and see what we are offering by all means have them come in we're going to have a powwow of art healing music sound healing over here for the children or even if if you are uh yourself a member of a youth organization yes member of a church board member of a nonprofit, that you believe that the children within your organization uh, might need uh, uh, to go through therapy in order to help them uh, as as lisa said it's uh, not necessarily that lost their mothers but they're going through some stress they're going through some anxiety. issues anxieties by all means contact here with international and uh, uh on behalf of lisa and the board members also if there are families that go on there they want the program but they they do not have the financial means please contact us yes but uh, it's we don't want any any child not have access to these programs if uh, uh, financials are an issue. We'll right. take care of it. Of course, of course, uh, we will. We will not say no or turn any child away. Of course, it's about uh, they have to make reservations or SVP due to space. But every child is welcome. Oh, teenagers. They're children to us. <laughs> so with that, I don't know, is there any questions? Jasmine, hi, Jesse. How are you, love? Happy New Year to you. May the new year, this, we're entering to this incredible decade, which I believe the, this year it's going to be the colors. Uh, the colors are going to be the blues and the white. The blue is the communication. So what, what better way to start this year 
by communicating and expressing. So uh, we have all that providing here for you. Uh, the white light. Mm -hmm. So, but what can we share? I have this beautiful expression that I believe in life, things do not happen to us, but for us. And as we started talking mm -hmm. about it, what we do instead of being this reactive mode, if we take things and say, how do I benefit out of this? And what can I do with this? And who can I help with what I have learned? And that is what we are here for, uh, especially as Heal Within, uh, doing hypnotherapy, stress management. Um, the work that I do is all about serving you. Uh, I may not have a million viewers, but I have loyal folks who email me, message me, and they refer clients to us not because of who I am, but the difference they see, the impact that has made in their life. That's why we are here. Mm -hmm. It's not for us, but for you, for the children, for those who are in need. And what better way to do all this with music, with art, with playfulness, with joy, and a smile on our face. Good energy. Yes. Good energy. Yes. So I wish I had my bell with me so I could <laughs> ring the bell. <laughs> but can you ring a bell on your phone? Mm -hmm. I have this beautiful bell that it was here. But you know what we can do? I can bring one of the bowls. <laughs> if, if I turn this around, I don't know how I can turn this around that they can see the beautiful background. Mm -hmm. How do we do this? How do I turn this? Well, we have to turn the camera. So I, I believe. Oh, I have to turn the camera. So I'll bring one of the bowls. Bring it. It's, much it's much easier, easier, much easier to bring Just a bowl. Bring and because we have the purple and the yellow, I will bring the purple. purple. Bring the purple. The purple. I saw these bowls uh, uh, this morning, and the, the way that they're they're manufactured. I, where is it? Malaysia. It, it it came from Malaysia. It's just beautiful. It's, it's, just it, it's just look. Each one, oh, perfection. Each one has a lotus. So each one has the colors of the lotus. And let me show you. The inside is also. Um, there you go. Let me turn this so you see the perfection. Each chakra symbol is also inside the bowls. Now, the purple is for the third eye and And of course, we end with an um. With that, I want, on behalf of Heal Within International Organization, 
each and every one of our board members, since we do have 11. I thank you, our viewers. I thank you, all our board members, for the dedication, the time, and the sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice, it's a joy that we are making to bring forth fulfillment, love, safety, and so they the children can thrive to become healthier adults. That's what, what they are doing. With that, we thank you, and may the universal light be with you. Happy New Year, and God bless. Happy New Year. That's it. Bye-bye. I was going to say jingle bell, but Christmas is done. <laughs> <laughs>